like a little bit higher than I am because the light is brighter than I'm Come on, Bianca. Let me let it marinate. Welcome to Behind Closed Doors. Remember, what happens behind closed doors doesn't always have to stay there. Hope you enjoy. I am someone who is looking for love. Real love. Hey guys, welcome to Behind Closed Doors with your girl Sierra. And today I have a special guest, Mr. Damien. And today, remember how I said I was going to do a BCD in the city, a playoff of Sex in the City? Well, this is a little bit of a preview of what's to come. This is my good, good friend, Damien. Damien, tell them how we met. <laughs> uh, I think we met at some sports bar in Henry County and, like, my homeboy was trying to talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> and the rest is history. Now the rest ain't history because they don't know. Yeah, huh? Oh, yeah. And then she uh, made me wait, what was it, like 30 days or something? 90 days, about. No, to come in your, I'm talking about to come in your house. Like, you can just let me come in. Okay, <laughs> well, I made him come outside and sit on the park bench to talk to me. Right. <laughs> and that was a complete waste of time. And then we ended up having... A situation and then he ended up getting his baby mama pregnant and it was just oh yeah i forgot that's how that you forget all of that so that happened but now we're just really good platonic friends we like i can come to him and talk to him about boy stuff he can come to me and talk to me about girl like if he need girl advice so we're like really really cool but this is somebody who has dealt with me and know how i am a little bit right right am i crazy I don't think you're crazy. I don't think you're certified, but you uh, you have moments, I think, where you may, uh, I don't know. You don't think I'm crazy, Damien. Don't even say that. I'm just passionate, right? <laughs> so, yeah, if you want to put it that way. that's basically what it is. So, with Damien, what we're going to do today is we're going to do the Behind Closed Doors game. And <clears throat> should we do the whole game or what? What do you want to do? I don't even know what this game is. I don't know what these questions are going to be. So let's start off uh, and see how it goes. Okay, here. So you get to ask me some questions. I ask you some questions. You want to start off with the speed round? Yes. Okay, so you ask me those questions and I will answer. Can you see? Uh, yeah. Pick one, giver or receiver. I'm a receiver. So, I want to give her. Let's do it different. Let's do it different. Okay, I'm going to ask you <laughs> I'm gonna ask you these questions, and you're going to tell me which one I would rather, okay? Okay, fat or skinny? Mm, probably fat. Rather than skinny, like... Uh, uh, not like Can skinny, you ever see me with a fat nigga? Oh, this is, oh, this is what I think about you? Yes! Oh, you got to tell on myself. Tell my <laughs> You're going to tell me what you think my answer would be to the question. Would I rather have somebody fat or skinny? Oh, oh skinny. Sloppy kisses or sloppy head? <laughs> sloppy head. I don't like sloppy head. Because <laughs> it gets too wet. But, but if I was but giving you would it... rather... Yeah. <laughs> Submissive or dominant? Submissive. Scream? Am I a screamer or a grunter? Probably a grunter. No, he is. What? Remember, because it's been like what about five, six years ago? It's been longer than that. It's probably two thousand twelve. Uh, yeah, about six. Yeah, yeah, about six years. That's right. Now I'm gonna answer this. These questions about you, okay? So it says, "Do you like speed during sex?" And I'm gonna say, "Yes, you do." Do I like spit? During sex. Uh, yeah. Okay. I don't like an excessive amount, though. Yeah, so what's the best part of sex? Um, to me, I would, I, I would say I like making a girl come because I'm, I don't know, maybe 
a tad bit egotistical when it comes to stuff like that. If we're talking about this, if I can flash back to those years ago when we used to have sex, sometimes you used to go for a long time. <laughs> and I think you were on appeal. Oh, no, I swear to God, hell no. Damn No, I swear to God. You told me one time that you used to, did take a pee from the no. gas station. You told me one time. That I, I don't you know. Said, you said something about you did one time you had a pee from the gas station, some kind of pee. You admitted you that about to me. I bought you the damn robes from the gas station and you dogged me out, though. I thought. I oh, let's talk about that. that. That was on Valentine's Day. That wasn't on Valentine's Day. Oh, my God. Day. Hold this. That I guess something. Valentine's hold this. But. I was trying to find, I made him a homemade Valentine's Day card that said, Bay Friend. <laughs> that is when you bought me that rose. It wasn't that day. It was that no, day. because I brought you chocolate and a teddy bear and uh, the, what you call it, the little bear thing or whatever that you named Chili and all that shit. That was on Valentine's Day. I bought you the rose, like, just what? on a whim or something one day, and you just like, yeah. No, okay, let's back it up. 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 I think it was the thought that counted, you know. It was the thought, but I think. I, mean, I know the rose no, wasn't, but like. It, no, I you mean, got. I think. Was, no, this is what happened. showed that Sierra. Let me tell you, you what were happened, Dave. time on my mind. Yeah. I'm really liking him or whatever, so I was just like, let me do some cute shit for Valentine's Day. So I think I did like candlelight, and I did like, um. I think I had like some type of lights going on or whatever. And that's when I had gay got you a little cute gift. I was doing too much. But I get I I get to him this and it's Valentine's Day. I'm like always like to give it to him and you had a rose for me. That's what you gave me was a rose. On Valentine's Day? Yes. No, and I gave you, you the went teddy you bear. went back and got the other stuff because I had gave you all that and you didn't give me shit but the rose. And then that's why you got cussed out for the rose. Understand, I understand my flaw. But you did make up for it. But yeah, you held on to the fact that I cussed you out. But you didn't remember why you got cussed out. I don't. I still have to like go back and jog my memory about the whole like on which days because I don't know if the dates line up. I, I took a picture Valentine's of the rose. Day. I probably can't find it, but I don't know because why else would I have cussed you out about giving me a rose? Because you knew it came from a gas station. <laughs> Documentary about the flower you got me today. Tell <laughs> <laughs> me. Why are you mad about that for real? What is What's so what you supposed to laugh about? He got me a gas station like rose. Because she was bitching while I was at the gas station. Why? Why was I bitching? What time was you supposed to be here? The fuck if I know. I don't have any kind of Dang, uh, I told text you. messages to reference. Cause I, told, I said like 10 or 11 earlier, like way earlier in the day because I figured that's what it was going to be. Kind of you had to go on, go out on your date and all that shit. <laughs> you think I've been on a date, then? <laughs> Ain't nobody stupid, man. I've been with my fucking mama. Okay, so we did, we were talking, um, a homeboy of mine, which is a real homeboy. Like me and him never had sex or never talked or anything like that. And he said I'm a real that homeboy. Even though we had you my real homeboy, I'm just like we had had relations in the past. So um he said that he feels as though I'm high maintenance. So what do you feel? Do you think I'm high maintenance? Mm. I think that you definitely like and like I don't know, I definitely not. Not not with my dealings with you. I don't I don't feel like you're high maintenance. Like it would be easy for somebody to mistake you for being high maintenance. What you mean? It's not, you mean from the outside looking in, like if a right, person right, right, didn't right. know hasn't, me. Yeah, hasn't gotten to know you yet, then a lot of folks probably pass it by because they feel like, oh, this going to be all this and that. And you're not that bad. Like, don't get me wrong. Maybe sometimes you have to uh, just get up and leave, but. But it wasn't anything. Else. And never you had to get up and leave about nothing about me being high maintenance, though. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 just, no. no, no. Two thirds crazy, like. No, it was just some situations that we had. Watch, you don't watch like three quarters of all the videos on my phone, like trying to choke me, talking about I'm a I home. forget about that. How do you forget I about that? I forget about that. I forget. I went through your phone. I'm like shit, bro. Like what? Oh my god, I went through his phone. I don't sleep the same around women, yo. Like how did women? I even get in your phone? Oh, damn, no. Bro. I think I looked at you putting the password. I'm in. sure you peep the password. That's like, but was it some numbers and I figured mm -hmm. out the sequence? Probably. But 
He woke me up choking me. What so was in the phone? Home. What was even in the phone? My those about like, what clicks it, or whatever like that I had made in the past. Like was in it the in past, the past though. or what? Because it was in the, the past. Thing, that you thing, couldn't see no. There wasn't nothing in there. That was I think the date was the it. date was in there. The, yeah, only, the thing about it was clothes. I was only having relations with him. He told me that he was only having relations with me. Those but, videos were like oh like. And that goes to show that what you were saying was a lie. You said you you said you wasn't messing with nobody. Those videos was from before. But you. then your baby mama was pregnant, and that was after. Yeah, but wait, I didn't ever tell you that I wasn't messing. Like when she popped back in the picture, like I remember us talking about. Because I remember you always saying stuff about her. No, uh, no, 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 babe. You yeah. let's get back to the honesty. You didn't tell me nothing about you was back with her until after. No, I didn't say nothing about back with no, her because I never was like. No, you back told with her. me at, at the gas station. I mean, at the the, 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 the station the at extent. the station we was at after that situation happened where we the crossed paths. Then that's when you told me about the baby mama situation. It, it, the problem was, it was just, I, the problem with between me and Damien and our situation, I'm the type of person, when I'm dealing with a guy, I fall really hard. Sierra is a cancer, so she, like that little crab or whatever, like a hard shell on the outside, soft on the inside. You don't realize how she really is until afterwards, if you stay her friend and y'all don't have like some kind of crazy falling out. Yeah. I'm really friends with all of my exes except for when the nigga that, oh my God, that I was dealing with last year and her knee. But you know what? Now that I'm 31 years old, some of the crazy shit I used to do, I don't even do no more. I just let stuff just die down. Like, I never went through his phone or nothing like that. But I, have I really to feel like if you... If you feel like you got to go through someone's phone, and like, let's just be real. Yes. If you feel like you got to go through someone's mm -hmm. phone, A... Either you doing something wrong, mm -hmm. this got you thinking this other person, or B, like, it's already a point where you you questioning the trust or the, the loyalty anyway, you know what I mean? So, it, like, at that point, I don't think going through someone's phone, I feel like addressing something. Like, I wouldn't say go behind her back. Like, sit down at the table and be like, yo, let, let's go through your phone. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've had chicks, oh, my God. See, I feel now that I'm older, I I get what you're saying. If you but gotta the go through the somebody's back stuff phone, makes it seem a little crazy. You know what I mean? Like, if you, you gotta go through somebody's phone, it's it's trash anyway. The, yeah, everything yeah, you do is trash. What I like, how you watch most of the each video though. <laughs> Because it shows like on my on that phone back then it would show like the blue. I think I was watching the video then. I think I called Key like Key this nigga on there looking somebody. I don't know. I had the phone for a long time. I was at the bottom of my bed because you was not there sleeping hard, and I woke you up. What? How were you a day? How you wake me up? Cutting off my damn air supply like choking me, nigga. The hell you talking about? What I was saying? You a fucking hoe? You kept you kept calling me a hoe. I'm like, bro. I remember looking at you. I remember, <laughs> I remember that shit like it was yesterday. I looked at you and told you it was crazy as hell and got dressed and got the hell on. But he wasn't all the way right either, so. Mm. Not one for like the arguing and the going back and forth and letting, letting, sticking around long enough to, to let the anger levels rise for it to escalate to anything. <laughs> yeah, he would always leave. Would, like I get the hell on so but, that way it can calm down. But see, I think the guys later, that I've had the, the like, best dealings yeah, with, go. they were that type of person. Like I've never been with a person that just sit there and argue with me. I, I, guys who just get up and leave and leave me alone and then I'll come down. And now that I'm older, I'm 31, I don't act like that anymore. I am way more mature and grown. So you say? Dave, you don't think I didn't mature? Do you think I matured? Seriously? Like, you think, know how yeah, I, I am. Think, I think that, yeah, I mean, I don't think that you can help but grow. You know what I mean? Like, that's all you go. Okay, let me ask you some more of these questions. Okay, who comes first, your significant other or your best friend? Mm, that would be probably circumstantial. You know what I mean? Like. Okay, so what if you were in a new relationship and then your girlfriend was like, that girl Sierra, you cannot talk to her anymore. You had sex with her before in the past. Oh, like in that sense, then my significant other would get, would... Like, I would 
You know what I mean? Like, let you know, like, out of respect for this person. Like, but I mean, I you, feel like I've had friends us, like that. I've had friends that, like, this just happened situation. to me. This, that's funny you that you bring that up. Because like, that just happened to me today. Like, today? The chick, yeah, the chick hadn't hit me back. And I was like, so I texted her back and was like, yo, like, what? Like, you didn't hit me back on her. She's like, no, nah, it's not like that. She's like, I just actually started seeing somebody. And I was like, oh. I was like, well, I respect yeah. that. So, you know what I mean? Like, get back at me when you, if that doesn't work out. You know what I'm saying? Like, if she, if they get married and they, like, great. You know what I'm saying? But, no, you definitely, I feel like as a friend, just like, you know what I mean? If, if uh, I was in your shoes, like, I would definitely respect what you had. And I've done that in the past. Like, I mean, not that I've came at you like that or whatever. But, I mean, I'll back back or whatever. I won't shoot no, I won't be taking, you know what I'm saying? Like, We're I keep cool. between, like, nine anyway. to five type okay, text messages. Next or, question. Or, or, you know what I mean? Like. I feel like the friend, the friend should know that okay, you got to fall back a little bit. Like it is what it is. Okay, name a place where you had sex that's not in a bedroom. <sighs> Bro, I'm a I'm a outside outdoorsy type person. Oh, you like, told me you had sex at a playground. Nah, nah, nah. With a correctional officer. The direct department. You still communicate. What you think? <laughs> yes. <laughs> You said you had sex with someone? Oh, no, no. Communicate. Talk to. What you said you, communicate. <laughs> do you see You said penetrate. No. How she look? How she look? Was she cute? Oh, yeah. No, it wasn't like no struggle. Like, no, nah, it wasn't like I just, oh. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. I felt oh, like no, he probably no, was no, a little no. old lady or something. Oh, no, 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 no. What? I think you told me that. Like, she just happened to be attractive and have a straight little body. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, my God. Like, <laughs> you are it such was, a little man whore. Having, you having me recall, and you know what I mean, like, experiences. Like, this is all past. And you told me I'm such a... I'm just... It's a joke. He's not a whore, y'all. He is not a whore. Literally, my friend like, is I not a whore. experiences and stuff like that, stories and all that. But I'm I mean, not, everybody like, does. But you, there, he's, like, he's now 50. <laughs> so, he has... What Duval and... say? What Duval say? This right here don't mean nothing but you, your mama. I don't mess with grandmas, but I don't like, understand. I can get both generations. Don't don't let the little the little bit of gray. Hmm, me too. Period. Hello, how at me eighteen and up. If your last sexual experience was a food. What food would it be? <laughs> my last sexual experience actually left me a little frustrated so I'm trying to think of a food that I don't really care doesn't really do it for me okay why did your last sexual experience leave you frustrated Cause it just didn't go was planned. it the first time I didn't get huh was it the first time you had sex with the person oh no nah. you gotta have chemistry to come Mm. Cause you just said like well, I feel like because like this is actually a person that I've had sex with quite a, a bit, you know what I mean, in my life or whatever. So, uh, it wasn't like it's not that I don't know. It's you know how you can kind of sometimes it just loses its luster or just you know what I mean or like can't it, like I, I can believe that I can I can <laughs> I'll co-sign on that one. I give that a little bit. This has been a wild, wild show. Thank you to my homeboy. This is a, like par for the course on y'all show, right? Get our cards. You can purchase these online. Get some in there. Any okay guys, thank you for tuning in to Behind Closed Doors with your girl Sierra Chantal and Damien. Remember what happened? <laughs> no Chantal. <laughs> Do I, am I supposed to have like a two names? Should I be like Danny or Michael? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see where this goes before we get, before we get stage names. Okay, anywho, guys, thank you for tuning in. We really had a good time. You can purchase the card games at watchbcd.bigcartel.com. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at we are BCD, hashtag watch BCD to find us anywhere. And also, please note that we have a podcast that we do every week. So be tuning in for that. Remember, what happens behind closed doors doesn't always have to stay there. And we're out.